Hello and welcome to another pen video from Penultimate Dave. So today I thought I would show you some of the pens I have in my collection that have various types of overlays. So some of them may be silver, some may be gold or gold plated, uh, and some may just be like chain mail. Um, so these are all Viscontis that I own. Uh, and we have um, six here at the moment, so I'll, I'll go from left to right. But uh, well, we have uh, a lovely watermark, and this is certainly one of my favourites, where it's such a, a lovely uh, overlay uh, of, of a pen. And this one's uh, inked up with, um, at the moment, with Pilot of Washizuku uh, Yuyaki. And uh, you can actually see here, if I rotate the pen, you can actually see, like various uh, cutouts in the material and, and they are actually a V, V for Visconti uh, at least that's the idea of it anyway um, but uh, the watermark comes in in uh, this is a solid silver with a um, palladium plating of what Visconti says is 0.3 microns uh, which is obviously going to be fairly thin when, you, when you're talking about microns but I guess in the grand scheme of things 0.3 microns is supposed to be quite a, a thick coating uh, and the, the idea behind that is to stop the silver like effect tarnishing uh, so it, it's actually plated with palladium and that way then you don't have to get a tarnishing cloth in and uh, keep keep trying to sort of clean the pen up like you would with with other like silver or or, or other types of uh, like brass and copper and things like that so so this is a very nice pen uh comes with a uh a 23 cap palladium nib uh this one i actually have is a medium uh, nib right, zoom in a little bit here And uh, I, I I always liked medium nibs um, to start with more, uh, but lately I, I have been going for more uh, broader nibs, so broad, double broad, uh, triple broad, or or even um, uh, stub nibs. Um, so here's here's the next one that I was going to show you, which I have shown off before, and this is the Visconti Camelot. And this is such a stunning pen, and I'll show you for a number of reasons that literally, like the 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 amount of detail here you have in that chainmail is just amazing. You just see that as you rotate it, there's the links go from large links to a very fine chainmail link, and and it has this like almost like a herringbone effect throughout. The, the bow and the cap of the pen, along with a, a sword here as, as a clip, and you also have this very decorative uh, gold cap band, and then also down here you have two cap bands. It's just amazing. Uh, so I, I really do love this pen, and then even down near the uh, piston knob there, it's 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 such an amazing pen. And I'll show you this again. This is a medium nib, so it's a uh, lovely nib. I'm trying to have problems. There you go. So it's an 18 carat nib, 18 carat gold medium. That is just such a stunning of a pen. So I really, really do like that. And it is not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's actually, it's not a light pen either, but it's not as heavy as, as you would think it would potentially be. So uh, it for me, it's perfectly fine. I'm used to Visconti Opera Masters that weigh in around 60 grams. I think this is more around about 50 grams, I think. Um, and then we have this this other lovely pen, which is a Belgica that I picked up uh, this year in 2018. And this, uh, and you've got the standard bridge clip there from Visconti. But uh, look at this overlay here. And you actually have a lion there. And, and, and also you have the, the two crowns. You have a crown above and then below it. 
It's just a, a stunning overlay, uh, gold overlay. And this is perfect. You just see how the light picks up on that. It's just amazing. And if I unscrew this, this one has an 18 carat broad nib. And that broad nib actually is more like a double board. So, uh, but you can just see sort of you know, the name Belgica there. And that's a limited edition number. It, it's, it's a really, really nice pen. So I do like my overlays, I, I have to admit. I am a, a fan of overlays. I never thought I would be, but uh, but uh, I, I am. It's uh, And then there's also this um, Ecstasy de Oud. And this is a very special pen from Visconti. Uh, so the idea is that basically you have this like crown here, and, and you, you put some uh, like fluff material in here, and what you do is you unscrew the end cap here and then you unscrew this bit as well and literally what you do is inside there you actually put some scented perfume and what you do is you then dab this in get the perfume and then you dab it in one of these holes here and that will then uh, really sort of put the perfume onto some fluff in there and make the pen smell that's the idea. Um, it, it's a it's a wonderful idea, but um, to be honest, I would have preferred if they had actually made this a piston filler pen, because uh, this pen itself, I'll show you in a moment. But uh, here's here's the nib on it. But uh, I'll show you basically how you have to you know, unscrew the section here. And it, it is a piston filler, or a pneumatic type filler, but um, it doesn't hold a lot. So as you can see in terms of my finger, like it, it's really less than 0 0.6 millimeters, uh, milliliters, I would say. So it's um, it will drink pretty quickly unfortunately um, but uh, it is a lovely pen and I do love it uh, it's a very juicy wet uh, medium nib so uh, uh, and you may be able to see here when I zoom in you can actually see the in the black it's actually got lots of gold sparkles just and again like this is something you don't normally see unless you really have a light source on it but uh, you can see the, the gold sparkles just there and also in the body here as well you, you can just see the light catch it now and again look uh, there you go so uh, it, it's a stunning pen uh, not a cheap pen by any stretch of the means but a lovely pen and then here's another pen which is the uh, Istos Arachnis which uh, as you can probably guess it looks as though it has a spider's web on it and not only a spider's web, but it does have a spider as well. Uh, for those that aren't really keen on spiders, um, this pen may not actually appeal to you. But uh, I just thought with the overlay, it looks a really nice pen. And uh, it is. Uh, I've, again, I really do like it. I have a medium nib on this one. This one isn't inked. But uh, again, it's it's a double reservoir. So, uh, but uh, it, it it is a really really lovely pen. So uh, it's always a talking piece when somebody says, "Oh my God, is that a spider?" It's, yep. <laughs> um, so again, that's a, that's another pen I have with overlays. And then there's this beauty, and this is the. Um, 
Visconti Euphysi, and this is really was made uh, because of the Euphysi got burnt down, um, and uh, Visconti decided to to make some pens and and to donate towards the cause. So so a, a very large percentage, as I understand it, of these pens that were sold went to to help to to restore the Euphysi, um, and you can see that this is a, a lovely silver overlay. Um, and it has the old style sort of uh, kill clip uh, that Visconti were renowned for. And I'll just screw that. And this actually has, this one is inked. I was writing with it early on today, writing a letter. Somebody lucky will get it. And uh, this is a broad nib. And you can see here, it's just, it's a very wet nib. Um, very lovely nib, and uh, that is one I do like. So again, that's a really, really lovely overlay of a pen. Um, and and I love the sort of like the green flaked sort of cracked ice that's in the body of the and in the cap as well of the pen. It's just very, very nice in in that sort of sense. So. So there you go, really. So so these are the pens that I have in my collection that, that are overlays. And uh, I thought I would just show them off to you in this video. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.